Hello and welcome. Today I'm sitting here because we're going to chat. It's going to be a knitting related video. So those who are not interested, I'll see you next time for an episode of the Off Grid in Italy <laughs> series. Otherwise, if you're here for the knitting, welcome. Today we're going to talk about autumn knits and everything autumn i'm gonna share with you some patterns that i would love to knit and some patterns that i already started some projects that i've been working on and um, i want to take a minute you can skip ahead if you're not interested to thank a company who contacted me a month ago now and uh, they are a jewelry brand called hey happiness and they asked me if I wanted to try some of their jewelries and I wasn't sure because I usually love to wear jewelries that tell a story or represent something special to me. All my jewelries have, you know, a story behind them. So I was browsing their website until I found this necklace that I'm wearing. And this is a beautiful rose. Now, I have been struggling with setting boundaries and, you know, doing so with balance and grace. And the rose plant, all rose family, um, are plants that represent and symbolize boundaries and grace and beauty boundaries because of the thorns and beauty because the absolutely gorgeous flowers that the rose plant has and beauty without boundaries doesn't doesn't work is going to be exploited so i chose this one to remind myself to set healthy boundaries and do so with grace which i think is an absolutely difficult and challenging quest <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I really, really wanted to to have something that reminds me that, and uh, I'm very thankful I got to I got to wear this, and I decided to pair this beautiful necklace with these um, gold plated silver hoops, hops, hoops. I don't know how to pronounce those, um, but they're just wonderful. These are very timeless i can wear them with any outfit and i think they fit any face shape any skin color i just really like hoops and i haven't been taking them off since i received the package a month ago so very happy um and very grateful so if you want to gift yourself or your loved ones some jewelries that are very high quality and uh, have a good price, you can uh, check the link in the description box and you will get also, uh, there is also a discount code, you will find it on the screen and in the description box and you can get 10% off. So I want to thank Hey Happiness for gifting this uh, jewelry set to me. I am very grateful. So, now we can jump right into the video and I can show you some of the projects I've been working on. Maybe I can talk about what I'm wearing because it's a Finnish object and it's a very much an autumn knit. The color is not really autumnish, fall inspired, but I love it. So this is a shawl that I cast it on a week ago or something like five days ago and I just kept on knitting on it because I I just love knitting on this I enjoyed this so much and it's actually I forgot to weave in one hand um, but it's actually a pattern that I've been kind of designing so I haven't been following any pattern. I actually started to for to follow the Natur Kinder Shaw, I think it's called, which is a free pattern on Ravelry. I can link it. 
um, uh, which is a basically a big garter shawl, um, but it's super simple. You just increase every other round. You increase one stitch on each side, the beginning and the end of the round. Um, and I follow that pattern until I decided to, you know, do my own thing, <laughs> which was basically from the very start, almost. And I decided to have a kind of a longer wings, if that makes sense, like these sides of the shawl to have them longer. So I decided to increase two stitches at the beginning and at the end of the round. Um, every other round, right? So instead of increasing two stitches every other round, I increased four stitches every other round, right? And it's a beautiful garter shawl that has this kind of lace motif. And as you might have noticed, I ran out of yarn, so I used another yarn but I kind of like it um, I don't really mind that there is this um, color difference and I used a silk mohair held together the main kind of yarn was um, silk mohair knitting for olive silk mohair in the color oatmeal and a lace yarn that I held double from Knit Picks. It was a lace yarn gifted to me um, from a patron, but I love it and uh, I'm just loving this shawl so much. And uh, it's really, really. Yeah, I have here actually the silk mohair. And this is the, the other yarn that I held it together when I ran out of the lace merino. And this is actually a very luxurious yarn that I received from, from a wonderful person, Mieke, Mieke. This is the Mayak 100% cashmere yarn. I held these two together. love this shawl and for me autumn is the season of shawls and socks that's what you will see um no there is actually another there's a project that is not a shawl nor a, a sock it's a vest i'm going to show you that in a bit but i want to talk about some plans that i have I absolutely want to cast on another shawl, two actually other shawls and I'm gonna get my phone here to um, find the name of the second shawl pattern. The first shawl that I want to cast on is the Calville shawl by Gabriella from the Meriwether Knitting Podcast. Love her so much, she's so bountiful and so graceful and I just love, love her energies. And she designed this beautiful shawl. I've knitted it actually last year, around this time, more or less. And I've knitted it with a lot of precious yarns and um, I gifted that shawl. I gifted away. It was my favorite and my most precious knit and I decided to gift it to a very special person, an herbalist who decided to share some of her knowledge with me so and some of her seeds actually with me and I'm very actually happy that I've done so even though it was my favorite knit that I ever knitted. So, <laughs> um, but yes, I'm gonna knit another one and I don't know the color right now. Maybe it would be like, I was thinking to knit it with a kind of rust color yarn, something like this color, uh, but we'll see. Maybe I'll use another cream white yarn because I'm really loving this shawl. And I would like maybe another one in this with a little bit more texture. 
um, but she recommends um, DK Way yarn and 3.5 millimeters needles and I've used 3.5 millimeters needles for the previous scalvy shawl I made but I think I'm gonna use needle size 5 millimeters and use you know a thicker yarn um, because I want a bigger version of that shawl a very cozy warm blankety shawl that's what I want so I'm gonna go up on needle size and that's what I love about shawls that you can really use you can really modify the pattern by just choosing a different yarn and different needle size and you're just having fun you're not constricted by size like you don't have to fit the project on your body necessarily right if that makes sense um, but just I just just love this project so much and I think he is so um, it has is so unique it has this beautiful texture and it's so entertaining I just love it love it okay so that's my first or second we'll see which one I'll cast on first um, shawl that I want to knit this autumn and then I want to knit also the Edrose, Edrose Shawl um, by Fox and Folk. And this is a wonderful shawl because it's garter. You do basically knit garter and then there's a little bit of this um, botanical motif on one side, side of the shawl. So it's quite easy. You use DK Way yarn, 4.5 millimeter needles, and um, almost 800 meters of yarn. Um, so I just, I really love this one, and I would like to knit it in a maybe like the color of the sample here, um, maybe green, like forest green, but we'll see. Not sure. We'll see what I have in my stash. Um, but yes, I am just so excited to knit more shawls because they're just so good to have in my wardrobe like I can just wrap myself if I'm cold in a shawl I can just you know wear them as scarves and or blankets even so I just uh, really love shawls and they're quite um, quite easy to knit in the sense that you don't have to split for shoulders and or for you know sleeves or something and um, they're just beautiful projects so that's another shawl pattern that I want to knit this autumn and then I want to knit another shawl I don't know when if I'll manage to knit it this autumn or in the winter we'll see and I want to use my scraps I am hosting a make-along called Scrap Me Good Make Along and I actually want to show you all the prices. Some people contacted me, some beautiful makers also contacted me and asked me if they could send me some, you know, yarns and patterns to gift. There are a lot of goodies for the price of the make along. So I'll share those in another video but um, you just, if you want to participate, you just tag me on Instagram, the scrap me good, make along, and you just make anything you want to make with your scraps. Everything is allowed. And um, as long as you knit with scraps. The shawl that I want to make, which will be the second project that I knit for the scrap me good, make along, is the Anis... Anisidora shawl and this is beautiful because the fringes of the shawl are made from the ends so there are no ends to weave in which is very exciting because I can't deal with ends uh, <laughs> so love that and I really like this kind of texture and like lace motif I think it's super easy um, and I love to play with different colors and um, 
I can show you a project that I've been knitting with my scraps and it's part of the make along and I've been enjoying pairing different um, scraps uh, for this project. So this is the Olymp sweater vest by Le Poule and it's a kind of cardigan vest it has buttons and it's knitted, um, it's knitted flat, of course, because it's kind of cardigan, but the construction is interesting. It's not knitted horizontally, it's knitted vertically, right? Like you normally, we normally knit uh, things vertically and we go up or we go down, you know, bottom up or uh, top down. Uh, but in this case, it's knitted vertically, right? Do you, am I? explaining myself correctly so you cast on stitches on the back in the back and blah 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 and <laughs> sorry I'm not good at explaining things um, but I've made a big mistake I thought I was casting on and I was knitting the front right but in the end I was knitting the back so the back is not it has this v-shape back which I'm not mad about but I had to activate my brain cells to kind of uh, not frog the entire project. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's gonna have this V back, V neck back on the back. And then I'll show you, I'm knitting the front right like that. And I'm gonna knit the front left as well. And then it's gonna close and then I'll uh, knit the button, button band and um, yeah I love 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 choosing colors and combining combining them together look how gorgeous the only color that I'm kind of like mm, I wish I chose another color is this green I thought in the beginning that this kind of like mauve color wasn't really fitting with the you know brownish and white color scheme um, but in the end what I don't like is this um, is this green here um, combined with the with the mauve but it's okay I'm not completely like disgusted by it <laughs> like I still I still like it it's it, it's it's okay but this side I like it more. I used a boucle scrap here. I love the texture. Now I'm using this yarn, which is a very rustic, rustic yarn that I bought in Portugal. I took a break <laughs> so love this project I've been enjoying it so much and I'm knitting it with needle size five millimeters so it's kind of like quicker a quicker project it's actually a bit cold love this shawl so much so yes I love this project and I think it's an amazing pattern. This is the my box. Oh! Something fell. These are the animal fibers scraps. So I actually have more, but I. I'm still kind of knitting a project with with those so but yeah I still have a lot so I want to be able to eventually eventually use them all uh, so I want to knit another one and then I want to knit the shawl that I mentioned um, so I'll eventually use all of the scraps I don't know why I'm craving carrots and cheese goat cheese 
I'm checking the Ravelry bundle that I created called Autumn Dream. <laughs> so, socks. I want to knit those three shawls this autumn, if I manage. And then I want to knit socks, right? And I've been knitting... Where's the other one? Oh, it's in my pouch. So, I'm finishing a sock here. Um, I need to do the three needles bind off on the toes. Um, but yeah, I've knitted a sock. And I want to knit, I'm knitting the other one actually. And this is knitted with a yarn that I have in my stash. I think it's Drops Fable in the color Countryside Party, something like that. Um, but I think it's really fun. It's a, it was really fun to knit it and see, you know, the self-striping yarn unraveling itself. Love it. Finishing this, knitting the other one, and then squeaky chair. Then I have another sock that I'm finally finishing. Um, so last year I've knitted one sock only um, in this beautiful, this is Regia, Regia Tutti Frutti color papaya and I've knitted one sock this is not really autumn, but I'm going to use this sock in autumn so much because this um, is knitted with cotton and bamboos and elastic and polyester yarns. Um, so this is Radia Tutti Frutti and I've decided to add some stripes of this beautiful yarn. This is Universal Yarns Pop Pop socks, sock, bamboo pop sock, universal yarn, I think, and it was gifted to me, Ali, my friend, gifted to me last year, so I decided to make a sock, and I think it's beautiful, I think it's going to be really nice to have these, and I decided to make the other one, finally, after a year, <laughs> so I'm finishing this baby up, I need to start the creasing for the toes yeah, more or less so I'm almost done with this one as well so I'll have a pair of socks and I love um, I mean I love knitted socks and I love to wear like not only like woolly socks of course those I'm gonna wear woolly socks throughout the winter, like six months a year, but I also love to have, you know, non woolly socks, plant based socks, because they're a little bit more breathable and yeah, love, love these too. So these are vanilla socks. I've, I've shared with you some vanilla socks. I want to knit another like maybe two pairs of socks this autumn. I will actually like to, to knit a pair of socks a month, <laughs> but can't promise that. Um, but I'm in sock, I have sock mojo, so want to knit socks. And a, another pair of socks that I want to knit, I'm just a little bit scared because it's, there is this beautiful lace are the Erika socks. Absolutely, absolutely beautiful. And these ones are knitted with needle size, no, needle size 2.5. Okay. And they have this absolutely gorgeous motif in the, on the front of the feet. I, I love them so much. And actually, I found another beautiful, beautiful sock um, pattern by Gabriella. It's her most recent design. 
These are the Moon River socks. And they are kind of similar to the Rika sock in the sense that they have this the, the lace motif running um, along the front of the foot and then it's just stocking it on the rest. Um, so those are also absolutely gorgeous. Love, love these ones. I think we should all support Gabriella and knit her patterns because they're wonderful. So those are two socks that I want to I want to knit. And then I found this other pattern. This is a free pattern, so yoo-hoo! <laughs> what was that? <laughs> but we love free patterns here and there. Because um, <laughs> uh, we broke. <laughs> so these are the laid edges socks. They have this beautiful cable, beautiful luscious cable um, running on the side of the feet and I love them. But these are knitted with three millimeters needles. So it's a chunkier, chunkier sock um, kind of. And I think they're gonna be really cozy for the winter. So I'm gonna knit these ones for sure. Um, and yes, I think we are we're done. I have other projects that I've been finishing and knitting on, but they're not really autumn related, I would say. But I'll share them next time, I guess. So thank you so much for joining me today and very excited for autumn. I hope you're knitting absolutely beautiful projects and you're enjoying them so much. And uh, thank you to all my patrons for always supporting me. And thank you, Hey Happiness, for this wonderful necklace and earrings set. Um, don't forget to use my link and use my code so you can get 10% off. And um, I'll see you next time. Should I do three needle bind off or shall I do a kitchener stitch? I need some sort of needle. Here it is. Which one should I use? The one? We're gonna do kitchen stitch. That's right. Mm-hmm. <laughs>